Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the Ford Bronco. This is from HPI. It's their Crawler King. It's my buddy Brian's truck that he has an issue with the steering servo on it. So uh, we got a relocator kit right there. And let me show you how this thing is set up anyhow. Maybe you have one of these or you are looking at one, what have you. But the servo is all the way in the back. Now, if I turn the wheel, you can start to see the little mechanism come down here so if you kind of focus in this area you'll see it all kind of moving so yeah lots of go lots going on there and the issue is this, the little servo saver that's in there it's just not all of it's moving so you would usually hear a little bit of the servo itself moving but in this case it's not so we'll take a look at the servo but for now I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this so we can get this thing apart and move on to getting that thing relocated to the front all right, just want to show you those four screws that you can see there. I did loosen them up already and loosened up the servo saver. So just to kind of give you that before I go ahead and take this thing apart. Okay, so I did take, obviously I had to take the servo out, so I want to make sure I have enough cable length is one but it was easier for me just to go ahead and take the receiver box off and do it this way because the receiver box is already coming off so I noticed there's not much of the thread sticking out here to actually bite into what it needs to go into this these holes here so I'm gonna I got some other screws that I'll go ahead and put just to get it in there keep it solid I might even put like a little bit of CA glue in there because if those are stripped they'll kind of rebuild that the threading that's in there so that's that on that part of it now I'm going to go ahead now and get this thing up in the front. So I want to time lapse me just kind of tearing this thing apart and getting that uh, servo, our little servo relocator installed. All right, just want to show you something too. The servo saver might be okay. The problem, it seems like it, it just has a little bit of flex that's in it, which is what a servo saver is supposed to do. It's supposed to flex and bend a little bit. The problem is, is because this thing has so many little pieces to it, all these linkages, that it just causes more stress and it has bind, it's probably binding up somewhere in here too, making it very difficult to steer. So I think once we eliminate all that, we might have a good servo saver that we can use, put it on the front here as far as that whole servo and continue on. Okay, so I don't have anything mounted, but I wanted to show you too because at first I was like, oh no, I need the linkage for the steering, but probably can just use this one. Now you just have to twist this, and this is pretty soft plastic anyhow, so just have to twist it just a little bit, and I can get that right into that little servo saver horn, or steering horn there, whatever, and yeah, it should be good to go. So I'll go ahead and put the screws in, those four screws that go into that pumpkin that are sitting right here, and then they give you hardware as well. I don't know the exactly kit number or anything like that, or where he got it from exactly, but uh, yeah, here's the hardware that it comes with. So I'll go ahead and mount the servo up first. It's that little adapter. And then I'll go ahead and mount um, the other, everything else to that little pumpkin and just make it easier for me. Okay, so servo's been all hooked up, so we're good on that part of it. And I did route the wire, so that way, if the chassis is flexing, what have you, give you the articulation still. We're not pulling on any of these wires. This wire still has room to kind of slide a little bit too. And that way we don't have any of that chafing, what have you, as far as damaging our wire. But also just kind of ran it through where the steering servo stuff was all at before and just yep, ran it up into there. So we still got slack into our receiver box. So good on that part of it. Now I have the actual truck on because of the fact that I wanted to zero everything out. So my trim for my steering set to zero. That way my servo is set to zero. So that way when I go ahead and mount the servo horn, everything should be you know out pretty much to zero or where I need it to be. So we should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount that stuff up all right, so everything is working, sort of. Um, I think it's something with the radio here. So 
let me just go ahead and show you and demonstrate. If I turn to the right, everything's good. If I turn to the left, it starts to have some issues with it. So uh, I think it's the radio. So because when I do it and I reverse it, so I reverse my steering here. So that way, when I go to the right, it goes to the left and vice versa. So still, if I but it's issue going left on the radio. So now it's it's like hello. It's, it's yeah. It's acting definitely weird. All good going, which would normally be your right. So as it is right there. Okay, so that's that. I kind of figured that one out. That's easy enough to figure. Uh, I think it's with the radio itself because if I kind of pull on this thing or kind of tweak it just a little bit, it seems to be okay. Um, also, dual rate. In case you guys are new and you you know we always skip over. Oh yeah, dual rate. You got your reverse trims, all this stuff. But dual rate sets your endpoints. What does that mean? It means that you're steering when you're steering, it only goes so far. So when that's what the dual rate is. So if you want to, if you're doing speed runs, you just want it to kind of do a little bit like this because you don't want to be going fast and being able to turn your wheels all the way. So turn that dual rate down when you do speed runs. That way there's this little bit that's going on. So that way if you get scared or you try to make a quick sudden adjustment or just anyway, just trying to control the vehicle, you, you're making little, you could be moving this wheel a lot and you're making slight adjustments. So there's a little tip for you guys. So Brian, we just might have to do something with this radio. But I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We do sell HPI as well. We do have the Crawler King. We've got lots of different products that are on there. Like I said, if you just go to our website, we have all the different brands right on our homepage. So you can check that all out. We use Klarna, which is a payment option plan for you guys that you know want to buy now, pay later, make payment options. Definitely a cool thing. And yeah, so definitely. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification button. That way you're notified when we release the next video. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.